and we're all supposed to be keeping our distance. But one man shared video showing a very different scene at one local park. News 6's James Barbero is asking what's being done to enforce social distancing at Parish Park and beyond. In Brevard County, you won't find an open parking lot at the beach, but on the Indian River Lagoon, Easter Sunday was packed at Parish Park in Titusville. Over the past couple weekends has been crazy, you know. Dan Rojas recording dozens of cars side by side. I think that the park should be closed. When you're in here and there's two, three hundred people here in this small space. Mike, you closed the parks at the beach a month ago. Could parks potentially close on the lagoon? We do want the beaches to be open to local residents. And the same thing goes with the lagoon. Brevard's communications director says the park is up for a discussion after learning a video like this. We want people to be able to go and hang outdoors and not be stuck in the house all day. But the problem is we also are pushing the CDC recommendations of six feet social distancing, of avoiding mass gatherings. The county stresses it's not looking to close more parks. Instead, it's a possibility that signs encouraging distancing could be installed. The county is also talking about ways to enforce that would not include putting anyone in jail. There was a huge crowd. That, that's the most people I've ever seen here. The Magleys say they do not want the park to close, although when they drove here Sunday, they thought it would be smarter to stay inside the car. I was surprised. I thought people really need to be more careful because they really were on top of each other. I don't want everybody to be restricted from what they want to do, but you know, I think it's fair for everybody to do their part. In Titusville, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero getting results, News 6.